For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that after OS installation, how we are going to access the machine, the Linux machine, and um, doing what are the commands you wanted to type or uh, anything you wanted to do. Okay, so first of all, you can access the virtual machine or the whatever the machine if you it is a physical machine you can directly switch on and uh, physically access the machine using the monitor and keyboard mouse and uh, if it is a virtual machine like um, you set up a virtual machine you can just switch on your uh, virtual machine and uh, uh, here you can access the graphical user interface okay you can just uh, click uh, click enter on the username and it will ask you for the password and just type the password and click sign in now it's going to load you load the graphical user interface over here so this is the graphical user interface you can click over here it is that this is the graphical user interface and your linux machine okay now if you want to do access anything on your uh, things you can do like um, access over here okay there are some uh, favorite things like uh, if you want to do some uh, notepad text editing kind of stuff you can use over here example say that uh, this is a name sample text file something like that and click save and it will ask you where you wanted to save this one okay so you maybe go to your uh, username and the desktop i would like to save over here that um, first file okay dot txt something like this i would like to save okay so your first file has been saved like this you can use your any tools to over here on the graphical user interface so you may also access uh, internet uh, kind of stuff like if you want to do some uh, related to the uh, video stuff okay and here are some uh, things like uh, application settings and settings all the stuff okay you can access all of this okay in the places you can go to your just like your my computer downloads documents all the stuff you can just go to your computer and see your all the folders okay which are there and you can simply go to any folder and copy paste your data something like that example say i would like to go to my username or the my user path example under the home here we and uh, desktop i have this file i would like to just copy this file okay and paste over here like that you can make copy paste okay just like the graphical user interface you can simply do that okay something like i have made the four files one files i copied into the multiple files something like this you can do all of this like if you want to delete something like this you can just click uh, delete so it will be deleted in the trash you can if you want to restore from here you can just click restore so the files will be restored something like that right but so here the graphical user interface is okay fine and if you want to restart reboot or shut down your machine and okay access your network settings you can you can go over here and do that okay you can click on the settings you can do any system settings from over here there are so many settings you can do okay and uh, click on here the power button so what happens here it is from here you can power on switch off restart anything you can do okay uh, but I don't want it to do all this graphical stuff all the times so little bit I would like to do some command line stuff over here you can just click on right click on over here and open the terminal so this is the command line phase where you can uh, just type some commands okay like this right or uh, you can just create the empty files using the touch something like this right so like this you can do the stuff from the command line user interface but i don't want to always go into the virtual machine and open the graphical user interface and do the all this stuff but i can also access these command line user interface from the remotely so how we can access that so first of all you have to know that 
just switch back to the uh, root user account for some time okay and say system ctl status sshd so if this service is running over here active and running then you can access this machine you uh, remotely using the cli tools the remote command line utility tools so okay uh, and uh, just you have to know that ip address I, ip addr is the command okay forget about the if config command because that is going that is already deprecated and that is going to be an old command which not going to work on the rcl7 or the centos 7 version so ip addr is the command to know your ip address okay here this is the ip address of your machine so just remember that this is your ip address of your machine and i am exiting from the root user and i am exiting from the terminal as well and i am just uh, uh, just minimizing this vmware version and uh, going on the internet explorer same okay just type that putty or any putty uh, download okay i just wanted to download my putty software over here i can just go to click over here download the putty and say uh, better always install your putty session to be a putty software to be a better always okay portable is not works that better okay you can just click over here and after download then it will ask you some uh, next 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 steps like next and your putty location is going to be installed over here and uh, put the shortcut on the desktop do you want yes then install over here say yes so the putty is going to be installed and putty has been installed successfully you can go to the desktop the putty shortcut will be over here okay you can just now type your that server ip address what is that 2.140 2.140 and the port number should be 22 and you have to check ssh over here okay then so maybe i am going to load this sorry these settings over here because that is uh, settings i have little bit bigger over here right now type your username and type the password right you have logged into your mission from here you can see that your ip address is 192.168.2.140 like this you can access from remotely using the ssh protocol or you can also access the virtual machine directly going into your uh, vm or you can also access using the vnc viewer okay just like uh, you can open the terminal and type uh, m install vnc server or the tiger vnc then uh, the vnc can be accessed from the remotely so this is how you can access your machine and you can uh, reboot your machine and uh, do anything you can log out okay you can just configure your ip address settings over here wide settings you can just click on here and um, settings if you want to change your ip address okay i always recommend is that you set ip address is an static ip address be here you can just go to the ip address settings and say manually set up this ip address so the ip address will not change always so it will be stick to the server so that you can always access the server without going into the server and uh, always type the ip address kind of, kind of stuff something like that so just switch on the server and access from putty session okay you may also use uh, there are some super putty m putty multiple putty something like that there are so many softwares you can use any whatever it is easy for you so i recommend this putty is the simple software so which is which has very very lighter okay and you can also integrate your ssh keys with this putty software uh, going forward okay that's about this session thanks for watching stay tuned uh, next session is going to be an a um, basic commands how you can type the basic commands and create some files managing the files and uh, directories all the stuff thanks for watching stay tuned please subscribe to the channel for more upcoming videos and courses please follow us on social networking sites if you have any technical related questions you can ask